Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Infinite Trade. My name is Robin and so this video is basically on uh, how to analyze participant wise open interest. So before we start the actual topic, uh, the first thing that we need to understand is why is it necessary to understand participant wise open interest? So the first thing, uh, this data is easily available on the NSE website. Okay, and the second thing is uh, we need to understand who are the market participants. Okay, so market participants. So who are the market participants? The first one is FIIs. So they are the market movers. The second one is BIIs. So FIIs is basically foreign institutional investors. DIIs are domestic institutional investors. Then we have pro desk. So which is proprietary desk. Here we can see, uh, you know, our brokers taking their positions. And then finally we have retailers. Okay. So first and foremost, why is it important to analyze this data see in any stream or in anything whatever we do if we have to be successful we have to follow someone who's successful then chances of you becoming successful becomes a little better i hope we all agree to this point so similarly in stock market we have to follow someone okay so whom do we follow we actually follow people who are actually the market movers okay so if i have to give you an example uh, say that uh, you know iphone is something which is uh, you know a higher selling phones in uh, the us market and if you want to open a uh, phone shop you know in us and you want to sell phones what would you do definitely you would not take risk in selling realme or oppo or poco or, or what all you know, you would definitely enter into a market which is already successful uh, in the phone market, which is iPhone. So you know that if I open an iPhone store or, or a Apple or a Maple store, you know, and if I sell Apple products, there are a hell lot of people who are ready to buy it. So this is the kind of confidence that you get. How do you get it? You follow something. So in stock market, we follow FIIs because they are the market movers. DIIs we do not look at because they don't uh, trade. Uh, in FNOs in intraday. Okay, so they take positions in FNO uh, for hedged purpose. FIIs, uh, they regularly take uh, positions in FNO, so they also trade intraday and positional. And similarly, ProDesk also they take uh, trades in FNO. Retailers, there is no point in watching because we are the retailers, so definitely we will be watching them and taking positions accordingly. Okay, so I hope this point is clear. Now, the next thing is what will happen if we analyze their positions? So, why do we analyze this? They change their positions on a daily basis. Okay, so they are positional traders, retailers mostly they are, uh, you know, intraday traders, and there are people who take positional trades. But FIIs, they trade every day they are they are creating open interest they are reducing the open interest and what not so they are actively uh, you know trading in the daytime as well as in the entire week month and year so what happens is we track what sort of positions they are holding uh, during the end of the market okay so suppose now it is 3.30 p.m. and I see that FIIs are holding, you know, 10,000 puts, okay? So that means tomorrow in the opening, next day at 9.15 a.m., they are expecting that the market may gap down. This is one of the uh, scope or it may open flat 
and fall heavily so this is their view that they have taken in the market a day prior so this is something which we are interested in knowing that what is the momentum or what is the movement that fis are expecting the next day and we could you know try to capture it and try to capture the moves and make some money so it is not that you know if you're following them you're going to make money like them because definitely that is not possible but it is like if they are getting a rally of 500 points you know at least we could take 100 or maybe 200 points is what we are expecting so i hope all these things are clear so now i'll uh, tell you what exactly are we looking at uh, into the positions so the first thing is so there are only three positions in uh, derivatives one is futures then we have calls and then we have puts so what do we analyze we analyze that how many contracts are long and how many contracts are short okay so this is going to be similar for every uh, everything so even for call and put we are going to check how many calls are long and how many calls are short so they uh, usually do not take a one sided position until and unless they are quite uh, you know convinced like the last expiry we saw three and a half percent fall in bank nifty in a single day so if that is the case then they'll hold some positions like that and we already uh, recognized it that you know they are holding bearish positions and they have bought hell out of puts so that is the kind of an analysis that we all can do if we follow this data so what happens is how do we understand is for example today if fis are creating 100 uh, long futures so they are buying futures quantity is 100 say it can be 100 open interest or uh, contracts and they are shorting 50 futures okay they are selling 50 futures so this 50 futures can be in the next month or maybe a month after that okay so what does this mean that at the moment they are bullish in the market and this will act as a hedge position okay so this is what we understand so we see how many long positions they are holding and how many short positions they are holding and this is similar again for uh, call and put so say that they are holding 100 call long and they are holding 150 call short so this means that the short call is more than the long call that means they are slightly bearish in the market then similarly put so imagine they have 100 put buy and they only have 50 put short that means they are bearish in the market so this is how we actually calculate okay and this calculation what i do is i compare it with the last two days so what i'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna post this video today, okay? And I want to see how many people like it. And, uh, you know, in case if you can do this analysis on your own by downloading the data from the NSC website, that is nice. And in case if you want the sheet that I analyze, I'm okay to share it, but only if you comment and if you request for it is when I'll uh, you know send it to you okay so this is what we uh, do in un understanding the positions so what impact does it has next day is that impact you can see in the first half of the market okay so when i say first half of the market it is between 9 15 a.m to say 10 30 or 11 a.m so this is the time you will see that sort of a moment. So for example, if they have bought 10,000 put options, okay, so what will happen is market will open flat and immediately it will fall. And you will see that at around 10, 30, 10, 45, they have booked the profits and you will see some green candles going like this. So this happens, okay. 
so usually what i do is i always rely on this position to take a trade on the first half so what if the market opens against them say the market has closed here they have 10000 put long okay and the market has opened somewhere here so there are two things that can happen because they are stuck the market may turn volatile okay because they want to cover this position they want to cover the loss they can do any sort of thing so it may go sideways and become volatile or they may go on averaging the positions so if you have if you know that you know bank nifty or nifty has a strong resistance at this point we can wait for them to actually take the market there so they'll slowly gradually they start you know they'll start buying puts so why will they do that because they know that you know uh, people have already seen this data last night so this is again uh, you know this is a favorable thing for them so they'll go on averaging their puts and then suddenly they'll fall something like this so we have seen this and people who follow me they they have also seen this and know them okay so this is the idea that we actually get from participant wise open interest now to make things easier what i've done is i've made a slide so you can take a screenshot of it and that slide would be actually helpful to you to understand uh, just a moment where it is okay so so let's close this okay so this is a slide that i'm talking about so you can take a print out of this uh, or maybe you can take a screenshot of this and okay, let me close this okay so this is the slide so i've clearly mentioned here uh, so i'll just show you a couple of examples so that it is easier for you to understand so this is like when you're looking at future positions you have seen that you know create long so in my sheet if you see i have mentioned create long create close long create short close short something like that so if you see that create so long is increasing and short is decreasing that means the market is bullish similarly the long is decreasing and shorts are increasing that means it is bearish and here long is also say 100 short is somewhere around 102 so this looks similar it is almost kind of equal so during this time the market is volatile and sideways because there is a confusion here the next thing is uh, close long so they are closing longs you know and they are creating shorts okay so this is confusion in the market and similarly they are closing long and they are uh sorry uh, i just messed up so the the closing long is increasing and short is decreasing so they are not shorting the positions or they are not shorting in the market however whatever longs that they were holding they are just closing it so that means they are profit booking and they are not taking any fresh short positions so this is kind of a confusion in the market and similarly uh, they are closing their long positions and creating a short position so the view is bearish if you get the market upside a bearish trade can be taken definitely okay so if you have already seen this position uh, tonight and next day if you see that the market has opened flat or maybe gap up and it is continuing higher you can find a best place to short the market they'll definitely bring it down okay so this is the logic for uh, future positions interpretation and the next thing is option position interpretation so if call short is increasing and put buy is decreasing then what does that mean is so you are selling call options okay you are selling call options but you are not buying put options so when do you buy put options when you think that the market will fall significantly or with a momentum because if you are an option buyer you need momentum so that your profit increases so in this case they are selling call options but not buying put options so what does that mean is downside scope is less or risk reward is not favorable 
but it also states that market will not go up because call short is there but they're not buying puts similarly you know they're selling puts heavily but they are not buying call options or they are buying very little call options so what does that mean upside scope is less or again same risk reward not favorable but market will not go down so this is what we actually understand from participant wise open interest so i would request you all to take a screenshot of this and keep it with you and you know from tomorrow when we do our analysis on intraday we can or whenever i say something or about this open interest positions you can compare that with this chart and that would help you understand this better and maybe in like next 5 to 10 days you can do your own analysis based on this data so i hope uh, this entire session was helpful and in case if you have any questions you can put it on comments i'll read them uh, if the questions are small i may definitely give a reply and in case if i think that you know there are a lot of confusions then i may come up with a video to solve all those confusions so thank you for watching i hope uh, this is helpful please do subscribe the channel and spread this channel to your family and friends so that we get some more subscribers and we can teach a lot of people things that are not easily available on the internet or things that are confusing we can clarify them okay thank you for watching let's meet in another video take care bye bye